Thank you. It's great. It's good. It's great. It's great to see you today. It's Saturday, the 15th of January. And sorry, I've just been um, just a bit caught up in the last couple of days. We had a granddaughter staying with us on um, Wednesday night. I forgot to post one of the things on Tuesday onto Facebook. And, uh, and we've got a baptism service this Sunday at church. We're going to be baptising four believers, which is absolutely super exciting. We've not done a baptism for quite a while because obviously we couldn't. So there's been a lot happening this week. So I do apologise for that. Uh, but here we are today. We're back in the book of 1 Peter. I was going to keep thinking about Galatians. No, I finished Galatians. I was in that for quite a few months. Finished, done. And we're in the book of 1 Peter. 1 Peter. This was written um, sometime when Paul, Paul, Peter was in Rome, probably a prisoner, 60 to 64, 65 AD. We know that, um, well, that's kind of, the, that's what people believe, the writers. Peter was uh, executed and martyred in uh, 65 AD, so it had to be before then. And uh, so this is, this is his book, um, written to God's chosen people who are living as foreigners. That's all of us. And we're up to verse 18 today. And it says this, For you know God paid a ransom to save you from the empty life you inherited from your ancestors. And the ransom he paid was not mere gold or silver. So God paid a ransom for you and for me. So a ransom usually involves, if you think about it in modern day thing, when you hear about things on the news, someone has been kidnapped, someone has been forcibly taken. Um, well, actually... I suppose we have been forcibly taken in one sense, although Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden, they gave away that right because they, they gave away their right to eternal life because when they sinned, when they first sinned, that, that initial sin, when God said to them, don't eat from the tree of, of, you know, because you will die. And although that didn't mean literally they would die that instant, it, that actually meant that they would die spiritually. This, and, um, and so they gave their enemy the, the keys of, of, of life and death and authority. Um, but we are held prisoner by prisoner by sin. And the Bible talks about that we are held prisoner by sin and death. And that, that holds us captive. Jesus paid the price on the cross. He paid the ransom, which is we'll see in the next verse is um, the blood of Jesus. And he, 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 Peter's saying, it's not mere gold and silver. It's far more than that. It's so much more than that. So God paid a ransom. A ransom um, so he we have been redeemed so it's like you know um, in this country in the UK I don't know what it was like in in, in Rwanda and stuff that they had things called pawn shops not porn as in that we do have those shops as well but these the p-a-w-n where you if you if you were short of money you would take an item to the shop they would give you a sum of money and then when you have been paid and you and you uh, and you are feel flushed you go back to that shop you'd pay more money than what you got because that's the, how they made their profit and you would redeem what you put in there you would redeem that so you'd get it back and you'd have it back as your own possession of course if you didn't then it would be eventually they would sell it to somebody else so they would get their money back that we have been ransomed, that we have been redeemed by the blood of Jesus Christ. That's what that's what it, that's what it costs. It wasn't just it 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 was it, it wasn't it wasn't cheap. God gave everything for us. He gave His one and only Son. Why to save us? Because we need saving. Because we need saving from ourselves. You know, Jesus came to the world. We remember it at Christmas time. Jesus came as a savior. Why? Well, we need saving from something. What do we need saving from? First of all, ourselves. And secondly, the sin that ravages our lives. We, sin is just, you know, some of some sin, people say like it has momentary, you know, it has some pleasure to it. But ultimately, if we keep on living a life of that, it actually is destructive. It actually causes destruction it, because it is, it's the opposite to what God has intended for us. God has intended for us to be like him. That we're made in the image of God. What is God? God is love. God is perfect. God is holy. That's what we're made in his image. We're made in his image to be just like that. When we sin, we're kind of going in the opposite direction. Where we actually, rather than where we actually want to become like more important ourselves, we want to become like God's ourselves. Which actually, that's not what we're called to be. We're called to be children of God, sons of God, um, daughters of God, adopted into his family. So, Jesus... 
ransom, he paid the ransom for us on the cross. And it wasn't just mere silver and gold. Because if it was, then God, he could have done that because all the silver and gold on all the hills are his. But actually it cost him so much more than that. It cost him of his very self. And I was watching this film, um, the other day I was watching The Shack. And this guy was, he'd been through a really hard time. I don't know whether you've read the book, but I saw it on, it's on Netflix was the film, which is, um, and I was just, was, I just was blessed by it. And, and the guy, he'd lost his daughter in the film. And um, he was like, saying, how can you say that? You, you didn't even care for your, you know, he was talking to God the Father. It was, it was you know, an imaginary kind of thing. He said, how, you, 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 know, you just, you didn't even, you didn't even look after your son when your son paid the price on the cross. And then, then God the Father just pulled up his, his, his sleeves and showed that the mark of the cross on his hands was, look, he said, you know, when, when Jesus died, we all paid that price. It, because God is one God. And, um, uh, and I thought it was an interesting way of portraying it. But you see, it cost God everything as well. His son. And, and it tells us about when, when Jesus was baptised, he said, this is my son in whom I am well pleased. God loved his son. He loved his son Jesus. He was there with him right at the beginning. It must have caused him tremendous pain to see Jesus dying on the cross. However, God raised him back to life. Why? Because he was perfect. He was the only one who could pay the ransom. He was the only one who could do it because he hadn't sinned. And I praise God. Uh, although it cost God so much, I just thank God the Father um, for just because we've been saved. And there's hope for us. We have been ransomed. We've been set free, set free by the precious blood of Jesus. And that's what we're going to be remembering on Sunday when we baptise four um, amazing believers. So I just look, really look forward to that. Uh, if you're able to get, that would be great. Um, or you can see it on a YouTube channel, which will be on there, or and on Facebook. Listen, take care. God bless. I'll see you again on Monday in Jesus' name. Amen.